Hey guys, so I have six juice reviews for you today, and they're from this company from the Netherlands called Flavor Joy. Now the six juices that I have are Taza, Tea Time, Modern Fruit, Drum Drum, Bloomberg, and Druid. Now when the bottles first arrived, they were actually come sealed at the top, in which you kind of like have to crack the seal in order to open them, which is a nice touch in my opinion, as you kind of know that your juices have not been tempered with before they arrive at your doorstep. Now all six juices that I have are of 12 milligrams, and they're of a 80% PG, 20% VG mix ratio, so not quite a juice for like cloud chasers, for example. Now I spoke to the maker of these juices, and he said that the goal for this juice is actually to not have the juices gunk up your coils as fast, which is why the 20% the VG, 80% PG mix ratio. Now you can pick one of these guys up at flavorjoy.com, which is spelled as F-L-A-V-O-R-J-O-Y.com. And they go for 8.95 euros for a 15 ml bottle. 1495 euros for a 30 ml bottle and 39.95 for a 100 ml bottle. Now all these prices include a 21% VAT and in my opinion it's actually pretty competitively priced especially if you're based in the Europe as I heard that European countries actually have to pay quite a fair bit of VAT um, especially if they're ordering juices from overseas. So really targeted towards like the European market in my opinion. So anywho, let's first start off with Drum Drum. Now Drum Drum is described as a tobacco vape which makes you smile all day long. Now one thing I noted about the flavor profiles of all of these juices is that it definitely can afford to be a bit more like descriptive as right now I found them to be slightly cryptic in which a tobacco vape is like described as like tobacco without like actually mentioning what kind of like nuances they might be and I just think that with the inclusion of like more ingredients in like the description it would actually help to like make allow people to make like more informed decisions when they're actually purchasing the juices but anywho I currently have drum drum in my set 22 with a single coil setup at 0 0.7 ohms using 3 5 straw mesh so Let's take a vape and talk about it. So you get average clouds of this juice, and you definitely won't be getting mad plumes with like an 80% PG, 20% VG mix ratio. Now I tried all these juices on both a high wattage setup, like my Genesis Atomizers, and on a low wattage setup in which I dripped into a 510 dripping atomizer from about 7 watts to 10 watts. Now on a high wattage device, I had sweetness on the inhale with a sweet dry tobacco on the exhale. It's almost like that of a honey nut tobacco for example, as right towards the end of the vape, and it did take me quite some time to actually notice this. And I actually got a slightly like almost nutty kind of note right towards the end of the vape, um, it's not strong, but there is just a tinge in my opinion. On a low wattage setup, exactly the same flavor profile as that of a high wattage one. Now, the throat head of this guy um, is actually really strong. When I first vaped it for the first time, I actually thought I was vaping something that's a little more like that of a 14 or like a 15 milligrams juice. And I'm guessing that this hard, this like harder throat head can actually be attributed to like the higher PG levels in these juices. So anywho, next up is Modern Fruit. Now Modern Fruit is described as a mystery juice derived from ancient fruit made for modern times. So I currently have mine in once again in the set 22 with a 0.7 ohm single coil and 3.5 straw mesh. So here it goes. So you get average clouds once again. Now in a high wattage setup, I like dragon fruits on the inhale with like this juicy sweet dragon fruit coming out even more on the exhale. From the mid to the end of the exhale, that's where this dragon fruit kind of like blends with like 
a Bavarian cream kind of note. It's possibly one of like the truest dragon fruit vapes that I've tried so far. Now for those of you who have not tried dragon fruit, it kind of tastes like an overripe sweet kiwi mixed with like a tinge of like melons for example. Really nice fruit in my opinion and this to me actually tastes spot on to that of the actual fruit. On a low wattage setup, exactly the same like flavour profile, just that it lacks the flavour intensity that I was getting off a high wattage device as compared to a low wattage one. The throat head of this is like that of Drum Drum in which it's really strong, um, possibly more strong than like a lot of like 12 milligrams juices that I've tried so far. So anywho, next up is Bloomberg. Now Bloomberg is described as all day, every day tobacco. So I currently have mine in my reactor with a dual coil setup using 3 to 5 straw mesh at um, vaping it at 20 watts and the coil is at 0 0.7 ohms. So here goes. So get good clouds off this e-liquid. Now in a high wattage setup, add a light sweetness on the inhale with a slightly sweet yet dry like tobacco on the exhale that has like a tinge of creaminess like right towards the end of the vape. It's rather similar to drum drum in my opinion, just minus that like slight nutty note and like just add a bit more cream. Now personally, I would have liked to have seen like just a tad bit more like differences between drum drum and Bloomberg as the, while both of them are actually really good tobaccos in my opinion, they are just like a tad bit too similar um, on a low wattage setup. Once again, similar flavour notes to that of a high wattage one, but this one, like modern fruit, actually lacks the flavour intensity that I was getting on a high wattage setup as compared to a low wattage setup. And personally, I would not quite recommend vaping Bloomberg on a lower wattage device as there was just not enough flavour on a low wattage setup as compared to a high wattage one. Throat hit off this guy once again is a really solid strong throat hit. So if you like strong throat hits, I personally think that Flavor Joy is one for you. So anywho, next up is Druid. Now Druid is described as fluid for Druid. So I currently have mine in my steam turbine with a dual coil setup at 0 0.7 ohms vaping this at 21 watts. So here goes. So get good clouds off like this e-liquid. Now in a high wattage setup, add a light sweet tangerines on the inhale with the same tangerines coming out even more on the exhale. Now I might be wrong, but I kind of got an almost like a touch of like anise in this juice, like from the mid to the end of the vape. It's a good juice, it's a really refreshing kind of vape. And I like how like this anise note kind of like just pops for like just a tad bit from the mid to the end of the exhale. On a low wattage setup, exactly the same flavour profile as that of a high wattage one, just once again lacks, this, lacks the flavour intensity that I was getting on a higher wattage device. Throat hit off this once again is really strong yet gave this really great kick at the back of the throat as I was vaping it. So next up is Tea Time. Now Tea Time is described as lychee and darjeeling. So for those of you who are wondering, darjeeling is actually a kind of tea. Now in a high wattage setup, add light lychees on the inhale with a strong lychee flavour on the exhale. Right underneath this lychee is a light darjeeling note, which personally I thought could have been like just a tad bit stronger. Massive throat hit off this juice. It's possibly the strongest throat hit of the entire line. And vapor of the sky of Bound is actually not as much as compared to like the other juices in this entire like line of flavor joy juices. On a low wattage setup, exactly the same flavor profile as that of a high wattage one. So next up is Taza. Now Taza is described as hookah e-juice, a complex sweet but not too sweet oriental experience. 
So on a high wattage setup for Tazar, I like cherries on the inhale, with a melting of like cherries and a sweet tobacco on the exhale. What I found is that the two flavors are actually blended so well that you can't quite tell where the cherry or like the tobacco kind of flavor like starts or ends, as it just blends together into like this one flavor note. On a low wattage setup, at the same inhale, but the cherries kind of got a bit like muted on like a low wattage device. Half of what I've found is that the sweetness of the tobacco actually comes out a lot more on a low wattage device as compared to a high wattage one. Once again, really good throat hit, really strong throat hit on um, this e-liquid. So yeah, overall, personally, I like the tobacco juices of like the entire line of Flavor Joy. And one thing I found really interesting of the tobacco liquids that I've actually not experienced before is that they are really clear, as you can see over here. So like what the maker actually said, um, these juices would not gunk up your coils as fast as a lot of the juices that are, currently, that are out there currently. Now I've tried v putting one of these juices in a tank and literally just vaped it non-stop for slightly more than a week and what I found is actually really true as my coils just did not gunk up at all which is a huge plus in my opinion. So yeah, if, for those of you who do not want like coil gunking juices, check this one out. Um, although if you are a cloud chaser, this juices may not be for you. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Um, good juice especially for like European the European market I was like the vet prices are all included in like the prices that's already on the website so yeah that's all I have for you guys today like comment and subscribe to my channel if you guys are keen and yeah I guess I'll see you guys next video we'll be doing a hardware review soon so do look out for that I guess so yeah peace